Right, this here is our workshop mix. You've got the cabasil, you've got T-cell in there, which is a very cottony material, and you've got the wood flour. And we're just going to add this to our hardener and resin mix. We want to get a creamy paste, something that's going to stay where we put it, not going to be too um, runny, but just thick enough. This at the moment is far too runny, so we're going to thicken it up a bit more. And as you can see, it's beginning to bulk up a bit as well, so we're actually getting more for our pennies, if you like. Again, this is too runny. I want to be able to sort of smear it on a little bit like um, mayonnaise type effect. It's beginning to get there now. Now, this is just about there, just a fraction more. Right, this is as much or as thick as I probably want it, just a fraction more on that, not much. There we go, that's about what I want. So it's about there, sort of just dropping off this thing. Right, come this way. This is the area that we are going to put the panel on. On the panel itself, we've marked out the areas that are going to take the glue. And we've also put two dowel holes in. The dowel holes are purely here to help us lift up the panel, slot it on place, and then give us time to hold everything down while we um, push and glue everything into position. So, first of all, we're going to put a couple of dowels in. And these are going to go in just like so. Going in, that's in there, just a little pump. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to glue down these edges. Now, these edges have been pre drilled, and the reason for this is twofold. Firstly, I don't want any air pockets underneath, and I don't want any big lots of epoxy building up, I want it squirting out. The second thing is, as these go through and get cleaned up on the face side, once they start to dry and cure up, we then end up with basically epoxy nails. So we've got the face side that we've scored up, it's been over with 80 grit um, sandpaper. We'll have the epoxy nails as well. We're going to screw it down to hold it in place, but we're going to take the screws out. There's no screws, there's no metal fastenings anywhere in this craft. So I'm just going to lay this down now and butter out this, these areas. Ready to put on the, on the bow. A quick buttering. We'll be able to clean it up afterwards. So we're just going to butter this out. We'll probably use the majority of this up, but we have got another pot over there that we can use. And we're, yeah, we're, we're working at a fair rate, but we're not going to be killing ourselves doing this. We could be a bit cleaner in doing it, but I find that I've got enough time with this to clean up afterwards. So I'm not going to worry too much. If you want to be really, really, really tidy, you could put this into an icing bag. 
and you could ice it on. But I find that doing that, I don't quite get enough going on for what I want to do. And my wife will tell you I'm a messy get, and I quite like the mess. So we'll just proper in this down here. I've also got a few bits that I know on the boat are in need of a bit of extra thickness. This pot's coming to an end. But I've got the other pot over there. And I shall just go over and mix in some more workshop mix. And then finish this off. Bear with me a second, just follow me.